25 interesting facts about Russia. What's up guys, my name's Jake and I am back with another video. Now this isn't a video about Russia in the news or anything like that, this is just a fun video with fun and interesting facts. Let's get into them. The Hotel Astoria in St. Petersburg is where Hitler planned to hold a huge celebratory banquet once he'd conquered the city. It was called Leningrad back then. Its restaurant remains an institution and one of the best places in the city to sample traditional Russian food. Russia's greatest museum is called the Hermitage. It's in St. Petersburg. It's home to around 70 cats which guard its treasures against rodents. This tradition dates back to 1745, a decree from the Empress Elizabeth, who was the daughter of Peter the Great, the founder of St. Petersburg. The museum also has 14 miles of marbled corridors. Pretty cool place. Russians have a word called Sobotnik, which is the day when residents of Russian cities volunteer to sweep up and tidy up the streets. It started after the revolution, but still happens today. The name Red Square has nothing to do with communism, but derives from the word Krasny, which once meant beautiful. The icicles hanging from the gutters in Moscow in winter are so enormous that the pavements below them have to be sectioned off so people don't go there. Because if one fell and hit you on the head, it would probably kill you. There is a bronze sculpture of a dog with a shiny nose at Ploschchad Revolutsi metro station. It's shiny because it's supposedly good luck to touch it. So touching is encouraged. Chicken's foot soup, also called kolodets, is a traditional delicacy in the country. Now, I've never had this before, but it looks pretty good. I'd try it. Cloak rooms are very popular in Russia. Don't expect to get very far into a restaurant, bar, or museum without being asked to put your coat and or bag in a cloak room. The best are efficiently run by a team of babushkas. Giving flowers to residents can be a delicate point of etiquette. You should always make sure if you're giving flowers to give them in odd numbers, unless you're going to a funeral which then you would have to give them in an even number. In St. Petersburg, next to the bridge to reach the Peter and Paul Fortress is a statue of a hare, which commemorates the large number of hares that used to live on the island and the battle against the floods that plagued the city during the 18th and 19th centuries. It is considered good luck to hit it with a coin. The further you get from the capital, the smaller the cars get and the weirder the hairstyles get. Russians are the world's fourth biggest drinkers, according to WHO statistics. The top three are Belarus, Moldova, and Lithuania. Russia invented vodka. Or did they? There's a dispute between Poland and Russia over who invented it, although it seems to me that it was probably Russia. The first recorded production of vodka was in Russia, and the word vodka comes from the Russian word voda, which means water. Do you think it came from Russia or Poland? Tell me why. The male life expectancy in Russia is just 65, lower than it is in North Korea or Iraq. Russian women, on the other hand, can expect to live to 76. Yidigran Island is home to the so-called Whalebone Alley, where remains of the marine mammals have been carefully arranged in a very special way. Around 10,000 British tourists visit the country each year, but over 90% of them only go to Moscow and or St. Petersburg. There is reportedly another secret metro system, Metro 2, which links a collection of military bunkers. Russians love pickles. They pickle everything from cucumber, beetroots, and even former leaders. Padlock trees can be found in Moscow. Couples place them here to prove their love to each other. In the vault beneath the monument to the heroic defenders of Leningrad, the only sound is the steady ticking of a metronome. It is the noise that played out on local radio during the siege so that residents knew the city was still standing. It's considered wimpy to lower the ear flaps on your Yushanka, which is a fur hat, unless the temperature drops below negative 20 Celsius. Traffic in Moscow is so bad that wealthy Russians hire fake ambulances to beat the jams. Moscow's Fallen Monument Park has a bunch of unwanted Soviet statues. An estimated 50% of policemen take bribes. Use that information at your own discretion. 